Well, hello, it's my good friend, my viewers again. Thanks for coming to see me on this beautiful day. Today I'm gonna to do something slightly different. First, I'm going to add my hard oils, which is coconut oil and lard. I brewed some tea and used the brewed tea water as my lye water. And then I'm going to put the tea leaves into the soap as decoration slash exfoliation. So this is an experiment. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I already had my liquid oils in here, which was olive oil, canola oil, and castor oil. My lye water is very, very dark, and we're going to add it now. You can see that it's like right in the middle of the bowl and it's surrounded by oil. <laughs> Can't usually see that. Alrighty. Today I rode my bike to the library to return some books. And on my way home it started to rain. So I was riding my bike in the rain for probably a mile. <laughs> it was refreshing I guess you could say. Okay, let's stick blend. The whole reason why I am used this tea, and I'll probably do it again if this all turns out okay, is because I don't like the taste of this tea. It's an all organic apple caramel tea. So it's kind of convenient that this looks like caramel. But I tried to drink that tea like three different occasions and I'm just, it does not taste right. Because it was a uh, apple caramel tea, the fragrance I'm going to use today is apple harvest, which is a very yummy apple smell. That's creamy looking. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna pour like half-ish in here. I was going to add this bright pink, not because I was like, oh, I want pink in my soap, but because my lye water was so brown that I thought, well, I'm gonna add this pink and then see if it turns into like a reddish, like a dark, I don't know. We're gonna find out together. Ooh, pretty. So I was gonna read to you the ingredients of this tea that I'm putting into my soap. It's organic apple flavor, organic caramel flavor, natural vanilla flavor, salt, luo han guo fruit extract, cinnamon bark oil, cardamom seed oil, and ginger root oil. So maybe it will be a good soap. That's very nice. I really like the color that it turned into. Now, I need to add my tea leaves. Here's our tea leaves that I made the tea with. We'll mix those in real quick. I think I'm going to do it in the pot swirl. Pour some in right there. And some in right here. And here. And here. Let's pour. Oh my goodness, I forgot the fragrance. How many times am I gonna do this to myself? Okay, I'm adding the fragrance now. Man, I'm so annoyed. I did this last time with that tomato leaf one. What I'm gonna do is try to stir it in and then maybe stick blend a little bit inside the mold. Whatever my swirl was, it has changed and it will no longer be a an in the pot swirl. Why oh why do these things happen? Now I can't even tell you how this fragrance has behaved because I put it in the mold first. I just don't feel like I have it mixed well enough though. Okay, I think that stirred in well enough. <sighs> you know, I didn't have plans for how the soap was going to look, but I didn't plan to do what I did. Some days are just more challenging than others, aren't they? It's how we deal with our problems that really matters. I know I did that, oh, whoa, excuse me. I didn't mean to bump into you. Alrighty, see you extremely soon with the cutting of this delicious apple harvest soup. Right when I turned off the camera, I shattered my little measuring cup. I will show you. 
I'm so sad. Look, I liked that little cup and that came with the Brambleberry <sighs> soaping kit that I had from the beginning. It just shattered. I'm not sure why that had to happen, but oh well. Fall on the floor then, I don't care. Hello, two days later. So we're gonna see if this is ready to be unmolded. I have a very special guest with me. There we go. So, my special guest is my nephew, Jake. He stayed the weekend with us this weekend. And I didn't even ask him what he thought it smelled like, and he said, it's apples and cinnamon. I'm gonna read to you the notes of this fragrance. For apple harvest, the top notes are orange peel, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Middle notes is apple. Base is clove and vanilla. And you say, you definitely smell that apple, right? Yes. All right, and these little speckles that are in here, those are tea leaves, because I made it with tea. Mm. I've never done that before. Whoa, look how dark it mm. is in the middle. All right, you want to have your turn cutting? Sure. So Jake is what, 21 years old now? Yeah. I remember the day he was born, a special moment. And this is his first time in his whole life cutting a bar of soap. Now you take it out and show the camera. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Smell it. What do you think about that? Very apple-y. You want to cut some more? Sure. For fun? So what do you think about soap making? I think it's cool. Yeah? You gonna be alright with receiving soap for Christmas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but if you smell the bar really well, you can smell some tea. So it's kind of nice. It's, it smells like apples and tea. And cinnamon. It almost smells like apple cider. Yeah. So Jake came over last night and we've been playing so many games. What did we play this weekend? Starting with the first game. I moved the theme. That's okay. Cause it's, what's the first game we played this weekend last night? Smash Ultimate. We played Super Brother Smash Oak Ultimate. And that was fun. And then after that, what did we do? Remember? We ate. <laughs> we ate. We had a pizza party. Then we played... We played some DS games. Tetris DS. We played a lot of DS games. Tetris DS, because Jake brought his DS so we could play multiplayer. And that was fun. And then after that, we played what? Geometry Wars. Geometry Wars. Brought back memories. We used to play that way back in the day when I still lived at home with my mother. Show that one to the camera. Yeah. The camera wants to see that one. Yeah. Look at how dark that is. It's very dark. I'm sure it will lighten up since the outside's lighter. Yeah. We played Mario Kart 7. That's when I was yes. like, I can't handle this. It's 1130. I gotta go to bed. So then we woke up this morning. It was dark and dreary out. It was almost all day. Now it's, it's the fun. sun's out finally. Yeah. It's been kind of... There was a very 7 p.m. look all day. Yes. <laughs> but we played like yeah, eight different <laughs> Super Nintendo games. What did games. we play today? First thing we played after First eating cereal. First thing we cereal. played was... We played uh, the Japanese version of Smart Ball for a little bit because I just wanted to see. Which is called Jerry Boy. I'm not sure why that line is in there like that. Yeah, it's weird. It looks like a butt. <laughs> <laughs> a sitting one. <laughs> funny it looks like a butt i'll give that one to you at christmas <laughs> and then we played a really really bad version of wheel of fortune yes we wanted to play family feud but it wasn't working. family feud didn't work and yeah, it made me sad it was sad so after wheel of fortune we played super tetris 2 which is a japanese game that never came to america which i don't understand because it's a really good version of tetris it was really good it was very smooth and it had like an extra mode called Bombless, where like instead of clearing lines, you had to explode bombs and it blew Which, up like chunks of the board. It added an extra challenge that it was hard to figure out. It was hard to adjust after playing Tetris. <laughs> it was. Then what did we play after that? And after that, we went right to the next one and, it was, uh, Tetris and played 3. Super Tetris 3. Which also Which... only came out in Japan. Yes. And it was also very good. I think it was better. It was. I think I liked it better too. There were two extra modes in that game. One was called Magitris. Magic. Or something like that. It was really confusing and complicated and I couldn't understand it. The other one was called Sparkle Triss. Spark Sparkle Triss. It was basically the same thing as Bobless, but instead of like blowing up chunks of the board, it only blew up like plus sign shaped mm -hmm. sections and it was a lot easier to predict. Do you want to stamp the two butt ones? Sure. <laughs> you press kind of hard, sort of. Kind of make squeaky noises. Good. Very good. 
Here, we'll do another. Is it visible? Yep. This is just to keep it from sticking. It's rubbing alcohol. Nice. Beautiful. What was it, Sunset Riders next? Sunset Riders, yes. That was That's a pretty cool game. That's a really fun game. Really... It's really hard, but it's fun. And then after that, we played Yoshi's Cookie. And then finally, which we played for like almost two hours. Yes, we did. Was Kirby's Dream Course, which is like mini golf, but Kirby is the ball. <laughs> yep. I actually really liked that game. And then I gave Jake a haircut. Yeah, and it's been a very eventful weekend. It's been fun. Pizza party and lots of games and laughing and giggling and I'm worn out, to be honest. I feel bad for Aaron. I He's do got too. too much to do. <laughs> he does. Thank you, Jake, for being part of my soaping video. Mm -hmm. I hope you get to be part of another someday. Maybe you'll make soap with me someday. <laughs> what do you Maybe. think about that? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. So, thank you everyone for watching and taking the time to watch my video when you could be watching anyone else's video who's more popular or interesting. I appreciate your time and I hope that you'll come back for the next one. Thanks for being with you, Jake. Welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye.